Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Disadvantaged Guardians. All right, so uh, we're going to take a look at the defender layout together. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go to spectate here. And let's take a look. All right, they got Korg there. Yep, we've got Domino in the middle. All right, so I take path three in section one and two. So right off the bat, no defender on the first one, but I see an Iron Man Infinity War uh, as my opponent here. So anytime I see Iron Man Infinity War, I think of uh, uh, Corvus countering him. All right, and then we've got Emma here. And that's also could be a Corvus charge. Uh, if I bring Corvus in, let me see, who does he have? No, all right, so he doesn't have a Corvus. So maybe I can take both of those. All right, um, Domino, okay, we've got Human Torch. And then on path three, section two we've got silver surfer okay and we've got thing when i see thing i think of uh nick fury so nick fury to uh handle uh that thing let's see we've got we've got a uh, immortal hulk not quite sure how to fight him but i think nick fury can uh handle him as well all right uh mini boss island we've got man thing over there apocalypse we've got modok on the left, we've got Warlock and Void. I don't fight Voids. I run Suicides. And we've got uh, Mr. Sinister. Hmm. So when I see Mr. Sinister, I think of Warlock. All right. So, all right. Right now, I'm thinking Nick Fury. Make sure I can deal with that um thing but nick fury is good for other fights too might be able to take that immortal hulk so nick fury uh and i'm really thinking of bringing corvus to handle these two here and the only spot i have left would be warlock or black widow clairvoyant and Black Widow Clairvoyant would be able to handle, if I needed to, uh, that man thing there. Uh, wouldn't be able to handle uh, Mr. Sinister uh, not very well. I mean, she could probably do it, but I wouldn't be confident in taking her against uh, Mr. Sinister. All right, so I could do that, or. Uh, forget about the charges, forget about Corvus, uh, and just bring Warlock. And uh, so it would be Black Widow, Warlock, um, and Nick Fury. Black Widow should be able to handle uh, that Iron Man Infinity War. Oh, man. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. I definitely want Nick Fury. And I want Black Widow Clairvoyant. So the other, the only question is Warlock or Corvus. And uh, I can see Corvus getting through these two. Uh, Corvus could also, now I would have to bring my six-star Corvus uh, because my five-star is in Alliance Quest right now. Uh, but I could use Corvus to finish off someone here. You know, if uh, Dragon Man gets low and they just need somebody to, you know, get him down. Uh, Corvus could do that. Otherwise, after those first two fights, I don't see myself using Corvus. Uh, Warlock, uh, I could use for uh, also for that Immortal Hulk uh, up there. And I could possibly use him for uh, Mr. Sinister. So it's, it's a tough one here. Um, 
Corvus definitely uh, would be my choice for at least these two. Um, Nick Fury and uh, Black Widow could handle Section 2, and then uh, we would just see where we would need it. Uh, Black Widow could possibly handle Man-Thing. It all depends on what I look like uh, when I get there. All right, so that's the team I'm, I'm planning on bringing in. Uh, I'm going to bring in Corvus, take those two fights. Um, this time, I'm not dealing with a metal uh, or an um, uh, extra large, large uh, champion. So I shouldn't have to worry about uh, triggering protection. Let me see. What is their global? Yeah, everybody does protect these days. So Corvus should be able to handle that. And yeah, all right. So Corvus, Black Widow, and Nick Fury will be the team, all right? So uh, we'll be back and I'll commentate. I want to focus on the fights uh, that I do. All right, so be right back. All right, so let's get started with this war. And the first fight that I had on my path had a little surprise. Uh, it shouldn't have been a surprise, but it was a little surprise. All right, so swapping out Warlock for Nick Fury, as I discussed uh, earlier. And this is the team that I feel is the best for the paths that I have to take. And it may even allow me to fight some minis. All right, so first fight. You can see, as we mentioned earlier, no defender there. But the first fight is this Iron Man Infinity War. This is actually a pretty decent placement for him. And we're going to discuss why. Uh, you see that aggression armor? That's why. Now, normally when I see Iron Man Infinity War, I immediately think of Corvus. I'm going to stop that. Uh, and the reason is that the global protect, uh, it shouldn't make a difference in this uh, particular fight because he's not, um, I don't think he's large, extra large. But in other fights, it's, it's not good uh, for Corvus. Uh, and you'll see that a little bit later on, all right? But for this fight, Corvus is fine, all right? Now, I normally have no problem fighting with Iron Man Infinity War. I know how to fight him. I've fought him many, many a time, all right? Get those armor breaks, you know, even if I don't parry him because of his little projectile um, medium. But, you know, it's all good, right? Now, here's something that I did not notice, that. So when that happened, I was like, oh, I must have lost track of his armor, you know, um, you know, armor ups. So I'm like, okay, well, whatever, you know? So I'm like, okay, let me just go in, you know? And then it does it again. So I'm just like, oh, wait, I know what's happening. See his armors? See how they're just going up? and they weren't going back down. That's why he's a, a pretty decent option on that path right there. Um, so he will auto block you when he gets uh, four or more. But I wasn't able to armor break those. Those were passives. And he was just building them up. So that surprised me. Uh, almost fatally surprised me. But I recovered, you know, the first one I thought was my mistake. The second one, I'm like, wait, what's going on? And I actually looked and saw that. I'm like, oh, that's right. That's what's going on. So he's a pretty decent uh, option for that uh, path right there uh, and for that node. All right. So since I didn't fight anyone on uh, that first uh, node, of course, I want to go in after Emma. And I had already planned to use Corvus. He was hurt, so I had to heal him up a little bit, use up some of my items, and that fight went just the way that I thought it would. Very, very easy, okay? Um, we are getting to the last uh, few wars, so this is the time to use up 
you know, some items. All right, now, I thought about taking this domino. Uh, normally, I would take domino with uh, Warlock. But since I did not bring Warlock, I wasn't all that confident uh, to take that domino. Domino can be tricky. If you fought her, you know what I mean. Uh, I could probably have fought that one with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, maybe. Uh, possibly even uh, Corvus. Maybe Nick Fury, but I was not confident at all. Uh, I don't believe I have the experience of fighting Domino on that node with any one of the uh, champions that I brought with me. So better to just, you know, let that go, let them formulate their plan and bring someone in who is familiar with the fight and has a counter. All right, so we're in section two and I'm gonna be fighting Silver Surfer, who's not difficult to fight, all right? Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, beautiful. She can counter this guy on this node very, very easily. As long as you know how to evade his special ones, you shouldn't have any problem if you are fighting him uh, with Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right, I'm gonna see there. Mm, beautiful, finished with a full health bar. I mean, can't ask for much more than that, right? I do love me some Black Widow Clairvoyant. No regrets taking her up to rank three. Love it. All right, now this fight. And as I mentioned earlier, anytime I see Thing, I bring in Nick Fury. Nick Fury is an awesome counter. Now you see that explosive personality and the heavy handed? Those make Thing actually pretty nasty on this node. All right, so if you don't manage your rock stacks, you know, say you didn't have Nick Fury or a bleeder like Gwenpool or anything like that, and he fired off a special, and he is at, say, three rock stacks. Well, now he has no power, all right? Um, not, not three, sorry. Um, say he's at, uh, mm, let me think. Say he is at 14, has one bar of power, and he fires his special off. You need to get him up to 15, and uh, more actually, you need to get him to a uh, special one so that you can get rid of those rock charges. And the way that you normally do that is to hit into his block. But in this case, because of explosive personality, you don't want to hit into his block. So this fight can become very, very tricky very easily. But with Nick Fury, uh, I can manage those rock charges much better. I can remove them without needing to hit into his block. So that is huge, especially on this node. So just something to uh, keep in mind. Uh, but that is actually a pretty good placement for things. Uh, if you mess up, you know, see how he has 12 right here. Now, I'm not too worried because Nick Fury, he does those bleeds and it's going to remove the rock charges. But um, if you're going in with someone else and you basically uh, get the AI firing their specials before you were ready, then you might have a bad time. Now, you will be able to hit into his block a little bit, but just imagine, you know, if they have, if he fired his special off and now he has no bars of power at all and he's at uh, 14 stacks, you have no way of removing those stacks other than getting him to fire off a special. You, you're going to have a rough time there. All right. So we got him down. No, um, no difficulty there. As I said, Nick Fury is a beast of a counter to Thing. Uh, and so anytime I see Thing, I usually want to bring Nick Fury if I have to deal with him. All right, so now this is Immortal Hulk. And I don't have a lot of experience fighting Immortal Hulk. But I remember that when I bled him, uh, his immortality didn't trigger. Now, I haven't looked up this guy's abilities, really. 
You know, I was still a little salty about what they did uh, with Hulk, uh, just even the OG Hulk. And then they created this Hulk, you know, and this Hulk, the animations are awesome. I love fighting with him, but he's not really that good. Um, now, some people love him and he does have his uses. Depending on where you use him, he can be a beast. All right, so here, uh, I'm worried about his immortality and this is a buffet. So you see, I'm trying to let those bleeds do as much work as possible. All right, see how I'm just sitting there and I'm backing off, but then I'm parrying real quick. So I'm not triggering, uh, you know, the buffet. I triggered it there, but he's already, you know, pretty far down uh, as far as his health goes. You know, I and, and I took him down. Now, what I kept thinking was that he's a little bit like, and remember, I haven't read his abilities, but he's a little like um, a Punisher, where if you can finish him off with a damage over time, his signature ability doesn't trigger. That's what I was thinking. And it seems like that was the case, but I don't know uh, for sure. But that's happened more than once. Okay, so we got him down. And we are now at Mini Boss Island. And at this point, we already know we've lost this war. Our goal now is to just finish, get, uh, you know, get the boss down, make sure we get those points. And uh, we should be still on target for Platinum 3. All right. Um, we, we, we're definitely going to have Platinum 4. Platinum 3, right now, we're still not sure we need to see how the other uh wars go all right so i was asked to uh just get these guys down and i usually ask that question i said are we worried about you know the attack bonus you know do we still have a chance to win this and if the answer is no then i do what you're about to see me do here you know don't worry about deaths just go in do what i need to do to get these guys down okay now here, when the real Nick Fury is out, he's stun immune. Uh, so I wasn't really worried about, you know, um, getting hit, stunned, all that good stuff. Um, all I need to do is get him down, all right? And as you can see, uh, he started to, um, the real Nick Fury came out and he started to uh, uh, get his life back. Now, this was actually bad because look at his life. I just lost out on more than half of his health because I finished the fight before he got all the way back up to full health with the second life. What I should have done there is just waited out once I got, you know, the real Nick Fury out and he went back up, then finished the fight. But you live and you learn. Now, here is what I was talking about earlier. Okay, MODOK. See all the protection that MODOK has now? Uh, that's what uh, um, Corvus triggered. Not so good to fight with Corvus with this protect uh, if you're going up against a champion that's large or extra large, okay? And this is why. Just look at this. Right now, I'm not doing any damage. I have to, you know, I tried to get an intercept there, but I did it when he had a, a bar of power, so... You know, that's exactly what would happen if I did that. And but all that protection up, I wasn't doing any damage. I had to intercept to get rid of the um, protections in order to do any damage to him. Not a good time. OK, so I'm like, all right, well, won't be doing that again. Uh, now we've got Nick Fury. OK, and, you know, Nick Fury's bleeds can do some work. OK. Um, fighting him is a little tricky. I, this surprised me. I was surprised that I was actually triggering the uh, protection at this point. Okay. I was like, wait, why he's doing that much damage? Okay. You know, I, I wasn't anticipating him doing that much damage. Okay. But um, at this point, you can see his health is not going down because he has those protections. But I, I managed to get an intercept in there. Got the intercept, removed the protections, and then I quickly fired off that special two just to do a lot of damage, 
knew I was going to die because of my suicides. I only had a 5% health. Recoil was going to take me out. But I wanted to basically just do as much damage as I could. And then I'm going to finish it off. Again, this is the kind of thing I would do just to get the champion down that I wouldn't do if we were trying to, you know, win the war. So here we go. Black Widow, my girl. She is just taking it to him. All right. Haven't triggered protection. Okay. Um, really tricky fight. Uh, Modoc can be very, very annoying uh, to fight. Um, I got caught there. I was just careless. Uh, wasn't paying attention. But we got him down. Okay. Uh, that's the important thing. And that freed up um my guys to go ahead and uh get the boss down so that we won't lose you know a lot of points here all right so uh we'll be back after a, a brief intermission and you'll find out how the war actually ended and we're back and as i mentioned before we already knew we had lost this war um, but here's something that was a surprise. Look at that MVP number one. That's what's up. Uh, honestly, if you ever see my name as the MVP, usually it's a, a war that we've lost because then I'll just go ahead and just start taking fights, uh, just to get folks down. All right. Now, before we go, I actually have the ending of the war. Uh, I did it live. We had the boss to get down. It got down to the wire. Uh, I just happened to check while I was uh, live. So I'm going to include that footage at the end for you guys to see. All right. But if you were live uh, with me, then you saw me do this. All right. So uh, take care. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all. Have a blessed day. Run over here. Just to uh, check on folk. Ooh, boy. 23 minutes. We're not going to get him down, are we? And I could throw myself... Uh, I could throw myself at it. But, um... I don't think that's going to work. See if I can do a little bit. I can't evade that. I just basically am like, yep, yeah, just gonna work at him. Nothing else to do. All right, well, all right, whoops. Is anybody else gonna try? Gee, I was like, who is this? I got this. Yeah, my alliance is not going to get the boss down either. Yeah, and, um... Hmm. Yeah. Okay, well... I'm, try I'm tempted to, to go again. Uh, let's go again. It's uh, it's not going to be pretty because I'm just going to uh, 
grab one of these. Just pop one of those and just go in and chip away at them a little bit, you know? If I can. Ah! Right when I when I got him to throw the heavy, my suicides killed me. That's what happens. So I'm just like baiting, baiting. He finally throws the heavy. I go in to kill him. So it doesn't really make any sense unless I'm going to use a lot more items to heal up. Um, I was hoping to get in there, but it, it don't look like I'm going to be able to even touch him. Uh, if he doesn't do that, you know. Huh? Let's uh, see if we can hit him with her. There we go. Hey. And we already know we're dead if he fires his special one off, so may as well do that. Hey, okay, got some licks in on him though. Yeah, I don't think anybody is really wanting to uh Uh, to do anything, I guess. Oh, yeah. Protection. Here we go. And done. And see, I can keep chipping away at him like this. I wonder if it's worth it. What do you think, Big Blue? Should we just leave it? I'm very good with Void, but I think I am just a very good thing fighter. I play games with him forcing him to throw specials when I want him to. Okay. Ghost Fade, what's up, man? Odin coming next month. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Yeah, he's looking interesting. Yeah, I, I, can, I can do that, Vincent. And, uh... If I do, that protection is what is annoying. But yeah, APOC, what's up, man? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Who has champs left? Mm. Cap, he's got uh, a nice full uh, falcon. But whatever, I don't mind. If if I see somebody, uh, you know, wanting to do something, we can we can keep you going. I know I'm watching uh, in game two. Oh oh oh, okay. Cap is at the dentist. Ah. And and I say, ah. <laughs> He's at the dentist. Oh, man. My last dentist visit resulted in me being one less tooth. But yeah, I mean, I can, uh, we can tag team them. I don't mind. Tag team back again. Does anyone know what map six, uh, five with epic mods gets in the form of T5CC? No, I don't know. 
Oh, he wants to. He's trying to get that boy down. Someone just put in a dent. Yeah, I see. I was about to jump back in there. If they if they doing some work, then I'm here. It'll just make things easier for us if we can get the boss down, you know? He's going down. Damn, I was hoping he wouldn't. Man, I can't even evade that thing. As long as it touches me, I'm dead. Too low, too low. Let me see if... um. If I can get a, a intercept in here. Nope. <laughs> he just said no. I was trying to go quickly uh, because I knew I was going to die if uh, I waited for him. Let's see, we got, uh, we got Black Widow as well. And see, I don't have that many uh, health potions or else I would uh, heal up. But, yeah. Can you T5CC crystals do a map six with epic mods? I don't know. I can evade both his specials everywhere except AQ and AW. Yeah. Dosh Gaming, what is up? Flare it up raid, what's up Solar Flare? How you doing man, thank you for that raid. Appreciate you man. 2G for you. What's up man, how you doing? Billy D, what's up? And Anthony, hello. Good afternoon to you as well. You're watching us just messing around, seeing if we can get this uh, apocalypse down. We're trying. At least I have some help. Let's see, yo, thanks for the variant tips yesterday. Dark Rider, what's up, man? I'm glad they were helpful. All right, let's see. We'll get back to uh, grind in the arena. Because I, I would like to get this guy down. But we'll see. Uh, the Parasite, what's up, man? How you doing? Shadows showered by solar flares. I like it. I like it. Woo! We got him down. 